In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've just put a, a world map with a gray background. And when I click the first arrow comes, you can see it with the option number, the title and the detailed text along with the icon. And I've given some kind of effect here at the background. And on my next click, the option B or the arrow B will come with the same uh, options here you can see the icon the title and the detailed text and then there's a separator a line has been created and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you'd like to contribute to my channel powerpoint university you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corners just click it here and then you can make the height as four inches and the width as eight inches you can see here you end up getting a shape something like this and then you can see the small orange point just drag it drag this inside so you got a full curve shape it looks like a kind of a capsule and then right select this right mouse click go to format shape and under fill increase the transparency level and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here and if you want you can give some different color and then i'm just going to reduce the height you can see here how much height this much i'm going to reduce and then what i'm going to do is whatever you're seeing you can see here this area only i'm going to keep and the area which is highlighted here which is the intersecting which i'm going to delete that one so depending on your requirement either you can increase it or reduce the size and make sure that this one should not be inside like this it should be outside of this uh, the bigger oval shape or the rectangle then I'm going to select this shape first, the blue one, hold the shift key, select the second one. Under format, you can see here merge shapes and I'm going and just clicking on subtract. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. And uh, let me just tell you that I'm using the latest version of PowerPoint uh, 2019 and uh, this merge options are not available in 2007 and in 2010 you need to enable it. So now again, again from this side also I'm going to cut. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. So I'm going to cut this much. So again, select this shape first, hold the shift key, select this one, merge shape, and again, subtract. So you can see here we got this shape. Now I'm going to add one triangle to look like a arrow. Go to insert shapes, select the triangle, draw the triangle, depending on the how much the arrowhead you need and just go to rotate and rotate right 90 degrees shape outline make it no outline and exactly put it in the center and make sure that there's equal spaces given so once this is done i can just select both of these shapes and then go to merge and i can make it union so you end up getting a shape one shape like this you can see here now depending on the requirement you can hold the shift key and reduce the size how much you want you can just keep it now i would like to change the color of this one but before that let me just change the background color you can give a gradient fill or you can give some light gray color or dark gray depending on your requirement and then i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to fill this with white you can see here it looks something like this and i want to create one more kind of a shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give a gradient fill select the gradient color and remove two stops you can see here so one stop i'm going to select maybe i can just use some green color again depending on your requirement you can choose the color and here i'm just going to choose one light or fluorescent kind of color here you can see here so it looks something like this and then you go to the effects under shadow go to presets and here i'm going to select this one you can see here this is inside center just select that and increase the blur size okay and then select this one and then just send this to back go to format send to back you can just adjust it something like this you can see here so once this is done i'm just going to select all this 
uh, the two shapes press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to just rotate it so you can see here you can just say flip horizontal first and then you can just say flip vertical so let me just put the like this move it up a little bit and we can reduce the size and this one right mouse click ungroup it and select the green one take it down with the help of a mouse or with the help of a keyboard down arrow key you can just pull this down and then i'm going to give some different color here maybe i can give a blue and a light blue color combination so you can see here i have created this shape and then i want to create one line in between for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw oval something like this you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select a gradient fill for this and here for this i'm going to select one black color you can see here and for this i'm going to select the color which is i have selected here and then this one i'm going to make it fully transparent and this also i can reduce the transparency a little bit and then go to effects under soft adjust increase the size so you can see here you end up getting something like this and then rotate it a little bit and just put it here so you can see here so this arrow it's pointing toward this arrow so it's something like this so now once you have done this it's time to add the text so go to insert text box and i'm going to type a here the option a center align you can give the same green color increase the size you can see here and if you want to change the font of any of your choice so let me just change it and i'm just going to put it here sorry i'm going to put this one here press ctrl d to duplicate add this as b and change the color to blue and then you can add the detailed text here give some gray color and if you want you can add some title also let me just duplicate this and i'm going to add the text here and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to the icons it's taking some time and then i'm just going to add these two icons you can see here and then let me just put it one here and one here and if you want you can change the color also for this and once uh, this is done completed you can just add some animation to it 